ESP willpower can be focused on individuals and groups of individuals so efficiently that you can literally focus that beam or whatever it is on a pilot or two pilots or three pilots and convince them that actually they are flying on the safe territory so there is no need they, you can convince them that there is no need to to contact the, the, the ground base station and you can artificially draw the plane by brainwave into the Soviet airspace whether it is true or not I don't know but I know one thing that when I was a student and I graduated from Oriental Studies Institute one of my friends he was a extremely intelligent Jewish boy. He graduated from the mathematical uh, department of Moscow State University. After three years, I returned from India for, for vacation, and I met him in the, um, on, uh, during the reception at the Academy of Science, and I said, what are you doing here? He said, I'm working in a secret research bureau. You know, the secret, which means basically defense, yeah industry they don't have addresses they have post box numbers and I say it's not is it that much secret that you cannot tell me what you research you say you wouldn't believe me brain waves and I never saw him again <laughs> ESP which officially in the Soviet media is uh, described as a pseudoscience and decadent capitalist gimmick to sidetrack the minds of proletariat from the real issues of class struggle. But obviously KGB takes seriously that uh, pseudoscience.